will come again uh, this time we'll be linking Google to our application so we'll allow our users to log in using uh, Google uh, account or uh, Google Plus or yeah YouTube or other things uh, to do that we there's a nice tutorial done by uh, the team from uh, uh, San Web E and in particular done by Saran so the tutorial has the code everything what we basically do download this code and then copy it to our uh, file when you download it you will get uh, is I already downloaded it so you'll get a folder like this you unzip it then you get these files you basically copy those files and put them in your uh, uh, application our application and SR here is R as you remember and I just logged in I uh, copied these files here in I named it G login and inside it uh, I renamed the index to G login dot PHP that's what I basically did with, with that code so far now as you can see uh, the database or the table we're using uh, here the application use Google underscore users and it has Google ID 21 decimal and Google name and I modified our table to to, to be similar to this one so if you go into uh, uh, local host here and here is the Google one which uh, just I'm keeping it there for you to see and what I did I just changed ours uh, the username became decimal 21 and the password uh, is there you didn't need it in in case of Google because it's not safe on on our computer it stays with Google so you change your password or the user change password go to Google to change it which <coughs> which good for security so with that the full name and in the example here they're using something uh, Google underscore name uh, we using full name so we kept it full name the only thing became 60 the email Google underscore email became email and 60 and Google link is 60 this is a new one we added and Google picture link link to the photo of of the user and it should be not 60 according to here it is 200 so I have to change this one to become 200 stupid well that's fine so that's 200 saved and it's there so that what basically I did, did to our user uh, uh, database now the work we need to do uh, two parts one is we you need to have a Google credential so you go to uh, console developer Google and register there and create an application my application new BD I, I don't know what uh, I call it like that uh, that's the application. I created a credential here. I call it sysinfo and the credential has the details Which I am showing you here, but I'm going to remove it after we finish this tutorial So this is the credential. There is a client ID and client secret. Yeah So where you go you go again into the Google developer council you go to app manager which should come from from here you'll find app manager once you get there you click on credential and then you can create a new credential now this credential have few additional information these are fixed information given from google but there are information you can add the name here and one of the most important thing is this one uh, authentication uh, authorized uh, redirect user means after your user log in and successfully uh, authenticated which page you're going to send him to for, for me I'm sending him to the same sorry to the same page which he logged in and that page will differ to him based on on the session variable to main page so my page is this one this is a sensitive you book uh, put add sla backslash here or put a slash here uh, it affects your application it will tell you uh, 
uh, it's not authorized whatever you write here later you take it into your application I will show you what that means so I'm just copying this one I'm coming back to uh, the file uh, uh, the file uh, G Oh, here it is so G login so in the file G login we have places where we need to enter the data one of it is this place so this one should be changed like this if I slash here it will cause more problem don't do that now with the credential as well the client ID which I have here I'll copy and put it here as the client ID good the the client secret which again we copy from here and put it there now these things you get only when you re register with google and create a credential now here our link to our database remember we have db connect we still can do that with some little bit change to the code but it's easier just to do it here so we'll put our user is root our password we using just no password because we're running on this computer and the local host local host and the database as is is system info student information system good so far we have done those main changes which we need to do one thing as you remember we changed our table name is no more Google users it's now user so we need to look for the SQL statement that work doing this and here is the first SQL statement here so select Google so account Google ID Google ID now is a username uh, user name because we using username in our table okay where user count for users uh this from user no it's from user yeah it's not from google users and this one here is the username user name where the username equal that's what we have in our um on our uh, table now the same thing for insert so insert uh not into use uh, google users into user our data table is user and this is uh, user name in fact and this one is full name with upper f uppercase f because it's called that way and this is just gmail is email and the remaining are new we just use them as they are google link and google so these things are all the same and things looks like working so far this is correct okay good now what we need to do after the user logged in let me save this one now the other thing we need to do after the user successfully logged in and there are two places one if he is coming for the first time to this page and authenticating using Google uh, he will come here or she will come here yeah but if the second time will go there so in each of it we need to create our session variable you remember last time we had a session variable called login underscore user so we'll say here uh, session will set that session variable session log in underscore user so we do not disturb our uh, previous pages equal to what dollar sign user dash id uh, dash uh, more than id so that's the way it is so it's using an object it has user and user has id if i want to set another session variable call it full name for example yeah so session or call it login username yeah call it login login uh, underscore name yeah 
I want to use the name of that user is not only uh, his ID and I want to set it in a session I can do that by basically saying dollar sign user dash greater than name yeah so that will do that now after the user logged in and uh, and uh, we set the session we need to send him to our main page isn't it so we'll use header and uh, location location column and main dot php see this will not work why I just did it I know it's not going to work because main is not in the same folder uh, as as the folder that I'm, I'm using now And let me show you what I mean by that. If you go into our application, you will find that we have G login as a subfolder. And now currently we have this subfolder here. The subfolder, uh, uh, the, the main file which we're trying to link to or forward to is not inside the folder G login. It's on the root. Okay. It's one step up. So because it's one step up, we need to go one step up by two dots. Two dots uh, forward slash means going going up. Now this we can take now and copy here and add it here. Same thing. These are why I need to add it here because this section for users who already registered or logged in in our application and now they are in this place so they have to uh, use this section okay and here I just added uh, I, want, I would like to add is, uh, is our header so I want the header to appear and I think I added it uh, in a previous uh, installation so this one basically adding the header for us all other things are there now let's save this one the other thing we need to do is on this main page we need to add somewhere where the user can click and log in using using Google so let's just uh, do that so we'll need to go into uh, into index dot PHP and uh, here maybe inside the dev we can add a link a href fiber reference I'm going into g login so it will go g login that's the subfolder and then it will link to g login.php same concept because I'm linking to a, a subfolder so I have to put the folder name first then this one will be login using uh, Google now I can put a Google icon here and that will indicate that you can log in using Google it should be a simple thing uh, to, to do we'll do that later now save this one now if I refresh it's there now is everything set up right uh, I think yes we'll find out when we run it now so let's try now to log in using Google click here now come this screen this is our header and this line is we can customize later but if we click on the icon we get those users I have so many accounts some of it are not mine I, in fact the first three are mine the remaining are not so if I click on this one, uh, now I'm getting an error. Okay. I'm getting the error because I was trying, I know what the error is. I was trying before to show also the picture of the user. So let me go to the main. I will do that. Very simple thing to do. Here, let me just... Uh, add comments here add comments here on the main 
and then go back and show you it will work go back now click on click on the first user and he is logged in see came his name I can go back and try the second user let's try the second user this guy or me again and I am logged in yeah how I can show the picture that's another thing I can do I can show the photo here of of this person so let's log out first we'll come back here to the same place basically we need to add a global uh, or session variable that will store the picture so here similar to it, added two session variable one for the login user one for the name we can add another one for the picture so session and we call it login picture login underscore picture and then equal dollar sign user dash picture which will come from from Google so this will do that uh, what's wrong Hamad here ah this is dollar sign thank you for letting me know I don't know one of uh, my audience maybe noticed that I'm just joking uh, let me select this one and come here and add it as well so we have it here and there so now giving it is with us as a session we can come to the main where is that main ah, here is the main and we can add it so what I did here I added the line to get the picture from the session and another line to show the image we're using a uh, bootstrap class uh, image uh, responsive uh, also later we can play with this one and change the width and height of, of the image and make it looks looks nice but now let's just do that let me save it let's go out click here log in here is uh, the picture okay if I log out and log in with other user who is the other user this guy then we get him there so that gets you the picture now as you may know in the database we have these two records now if I delete these two records okay, and go here log out log in again click on this one go to this guy and I go to the database I'll find he has been added for any new user that join my page for the first time he will be added to our database so we have his email his information we can contact him uh, if we need uh, and that's the way it, it works I hope you find this tutorial useful and you enjoyed it thank you very much and hope to see you in another video